of the most requested videos on the channel. It's time to go around the globe once more, looking for talents in countries that EA seems to completely ignore. And for that, I have created Left Out FC, a club created and put into the bottom division in England. And now the journey begins. We're going to be sending scouts all over the world into countries that you cannot scout regularly on FC24, places you would have never dreamed of scouting in and finding talents that will take over world football. Watch out, top nations. We're coming for you. As always, we got to spend big to start things off. I'm going to go with Norwegian or Icelandic. I personally was in both countries, but Iceland was more beautiful. Or I should say more impressive, okay? I'm going to go with Iceland on this one, by the way. If you do live on um, at on in Iceland, be careful of the volcano. I hope everyone's fine. It's madness what's going on over there and to start things off we're gonna go to a country that is right below china actually i'm gonna be looking for a goalkeeper that's how i want to start this off and it's the country of bhutan yes I don't think I've ever scouted there. This is already a great start. As we get our first scout report right here, I want to know from you guys in the comments down below if you could scout in any country that doesn't actually exist in FC24 that you cannot access. Let me know which one it'd be and give me a reasoning for it. I would assume a lot of you guys live in those countries or you have actually had vacation there. But here is the first scout report. Bhutan. Oh, that's a nice flag, you know. That's a really nice flag. Anyone with high potential, I mean, 150k, come on. I was, uh, okay, lads. Well, we'll be back with another one. These guys, sadly, are not good at all. And it seems like they're all from the same family. Everyone's named Gupta. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Second scout report coming in. And obviously, as always, I will not be showing you every single scout report from now on. Only the ones that actually are worthy showing. But this is a 500k player. Gupta. Hey, surprise. That could work out for us. So luckily, we finally have our goal. AJ. All right, buddy. 1.8 million, six foot one. Not the tallest, but the best that we have found so far. Maybe not. There's another one, lads. We have found three goalkeepers. Let's go straight in there and see which one can fit in instantly into our squad. 64 is the rating of AJ. Every single one of them is from the same family by the looks of things. So, lads, that's a good thing. If you don't play, but your big brother plays, or your younger brother because he's 15, obviously you won't be complaining right so here comes the first signing luckily through modding we can also bring in 15 year old players from the youth academy so now at 15 he's gonna make his professional debut five star weak foot on our goalkeeper far throw cross claimer and rush out yep gupta is seemingly ready but he's only six foot one but then again he's 15 so technically he probably is still growing so maybe i go ahead and add a few inches once he becomes 18. wait what did you just say that sounded really bad you know that sounded really, really bad. Up next, Christian Stefansson is being sent out. Not to Cameroon, lads. We are going somewhere else. In Africa, though. Botswana is the next destination of the unknown talents that EA doesn't allow you to scout. We are looking for physically strong so we can fit that player into basically any position. Possibly midfield, attack, defense, whatever. Just get me. A beast. And add a few inches once he becomes 18. Two months of scouting in Botswana have come to an end because I'm going to get these players in and leave. This is Cabo David and Ochen David. I don't know why, but Ochen or Ochen, I don't know how to pronounce that name. It was impressive to me and I was like, yeah, please have a great rating. Now, his overall isn't that high. He comes in with 375k in value, 68 to 94 potential though. So there is still a long way to go. We have time to build players like this up. And then we have Cabo coming in with 625k in value. So right there, you can see that we have two young talents coming through Botswana. And hopefully, they're going to be good enough. Now, these guys are going to be left in the academy a little late. I think I'm going to bring this man in as a backup goalkeeper at some point. But David is a left back, 60 overall. And this Ochin lad is a striker, which surely isn't right. He has decent amounts of pace, decent dribbling. 
but his shooting ain't that good. So I'm assuming, my man, he can play on the wings, possibly. Right wing, two weeks. Or do we go right mid? No, I think I'm going to go right wing. That's two weeks. Right mid is 16 weeks. Let's go with that. He's left footed, actually. Let's put him on the left. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, it turns out great. Actually, why don't I just put them into the team and see what their ratings are? So, David, first of all, the fact that he's a 60-rated player is already amazing. He comes in with pace and physicality. Great. Now, the other lad, I want to see which position works for him. So, center midfield and all that. No, center forward plus four. Yeah, okay. Right wing it is. It's a plus six or left wing, actually. That's the spot for him. Amazing haircut, four star, four star. No play styles, really. I expected more out of you. David has two. That's a good one. Up next, we're not going to Australia. It is gonna be Brunei. Yes, Brunei Darussalam. I had no idea that's how it was called, but this is another country that I would have never thought of in terms of a FIFA video or FC video. I hate the. F is my, am I the only one that hates calling the game FC? Like, what is that? FIFA was just so much better. Anyways, we have sent him out to look for technically gifted players. Three months. Hopefully, we can get at least one or two good ones in. Ah, nothing here. Orkhet Said. Yes, 1.6 million. 50 to 70 overall. 70 to 94 potential. That's the one. I nearly gave up, but that's only one month scouting in Brunei, lads. We Oh. We have another one right here, Motarik Hussein, coming in with 600k in value. I actually am not paying attention to the, to the individual stats here. I should, because some of these guys are just out of position and they could be worth a lot more somewhere else or much higher rated, I should say. So, Said center mid. Since when are we getting center mids around here? He can also play in a cam position, first of all. Let's go ahead and adjust this position and give him a four-star four skill soon. And then Hussein is 59 rated. It's not bad either. He's a left mid. I could turn him into a right mid, which takes eight weeks. Okay. But then I could have him on the right and I could have the other lads on the left. Actually, right wing doesn't take as long. All right then, lads. Not bad at all. Let's promote these two. These scouts have been doing a great job. That's what you get when you get a five-star, five-star scout. But let's see this player come into the center midfield spot. Now, he does go up plus three in center forward. He does have good shooting, you know. What about if we push him up a little bit into the cam position? He gets a plus five. Okay, we have to change formation. We're going to be running a 4-2-3-1 wide formation with the new man going straight in there. Plus five. He goes to a 69. Is that actually true? Am I just bugging right here? He actually could go up. Wow. Wow. That scout report was nuts. Brunei, I mean, you can keep delivering if you want to, but I feel like I already have too many players from your country. Let's move on to the next one. I actually scouted another month, but I couldn't find any more players. But now we have sent Christian off to Burundi. Yes, no, not Burundi. Oh yeah, it was Burundi. Yeah, sorry. That's the country we have gone to. I was like shocked for a second because it sounds so similar to Brunei for a sec. But hey, it's all good. Burundi is the place we have gone to. It's a place in Africa. Let's show some love to Africa once again. I am looking for a striker. Two months of scouting in Burundi have come to an end. Czech Dieng is another one that I've just found. Looking for a striker, but he has a lot of pace, so maybe he could play down the wing as well. Let's sign him 600k in value. But lads, don't get me wrong. The first month was even more insane. Take a look at Fernand Ovusu. 64 rated, 5 star skill moves on him. He is the striker I want and he's going to be promoted instantly. Dieng right here is 56 rated as we can tell. He's going to grow quite quickly. Actually as a striker he should be higher rated. He has 60 shooting. So let's turn him into a striker. He can be a backup if he wants to. But we are looking solid and we are right at the end of season 1. Which, I mean, I probably shouldn't promote players at this stage, but I really wanted to. And, oh, oh, I haven't changed his position. He's going to be mad. Please don't request a transfer, I beg you. Hussein can be turned into a right wing. He's still 60 rated. That's okay. But what about, what about Said? Please, 
He can't, oh no, it's not. Why am I tra training him to be a center mid? Oh, center, what am I doing? It should have been Cam. I've been wasting all this time and he's not playing. He's going to be mad at me. Please don't request. Oh my God, he requested a transfer. <laughs> don't you worry. He ain't going nowhere. I will not let you go. It's my bad. Two weeks later, finally, he's a Cam. And he goes up to a 70. Oh my God, bro. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? Sometimes mistakes like those happen. I'm sorry, lads, but he is coming in. And also Czech Dieng is ready to turn into a striker, which makes him a 59 rated player. But here is Ovusu, chip shot and aerial. I will take that. So on corners, we're going to be looking for him. He is five foot ten maybe i shouldn't be looking for him but uh, the other lads here is now to 70 he plays in the right position so hopefully it's gonna be fine and he's gonna stop requesting a transfer obviously my mistake obviously now, of course i also forgot to turn his position to left wing he goes up to 62 let's go season one is finished and left out is not at the bottom and that's all i care about efl league 2 we are not at the bottom and that's huge my friends that means our team can compete and i gotta be real man having a five star five star scout obviously makes a huge difference and we have ovusu now on a 65 and i'm realizing he probably could have played in different positions as well you know but anyways he's up top we have david now on a 63 Syed has taken back his transfer request now that he's been playing in the camp position. My guy. We have Hussein on the right-hand side with the 61 rating. And then I think we only have David at left back and our goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, 67 rated, second highest rated player after Said. And yeah, so far, we have a man from Brunei. We have a man from Burundi. Then another one from Botswana. Another one from Brunei as well, actually. David coming in from Botswana and Gupta, obviously, from Bhutan. Now, next season, we need to focus on um, a lot of positions. In midfield, two CDMs are needed. And then we have two centre-backs and a right-back to still look for. And then, obviously, this time, I actually want to fill the bench quite nicely. So, let's focus on that, too. Up next, we're going into a country that is nowhere to be seen over here in South America. I am looking for centre-backs. Yes, and I want them to be ideally, please, physically strong. We are going to take a look at that. Guyana. Yes, probably a country that many people don't pay any attention to when it comes to football over there in South America. Everyone talks about Brazil, Argentina, all those big ones, but we're going to Guyana. A couple of months in Guyana and we have Solomon Walker and Tony Grant. I don't know about the names because I feel like it should be South American, but then again, who cares? We're going to sign... Ooh, 1.2 million. Let's go. We're going to sign both of those lads and bring them in straight away. Wait, what are their positions? Oh, one is a right back. All righty then. I see you, buddy. 63 rated and Walker is 62 rated. Yeah, these two are going straight into the starting 11. That's going straight in my basket. Up next, we're going to South America again to a country that's right next to the last one we scouted. Now, I am going to be going over here into South America, but it's going to be once again be up north. And this time, I'm going to be looking for technically gifted because apparently that gets you centre midfielders or CDMs. I actually, I do need CDMs. I don't need centre midfielders. I was thinking maybe one centre mid, one CDM, but I already have a centre attack in mid. So actually, I'm just going to be going with the position CDM, see what we get, and we're going to do it in the beautiful country of Suriname. The scout report from Suriname has been amazing. And by the way, I was just Googling and I understood that Dutch is the language that they speak over there. Madness. Cedric Deleuve. Hence why their names are Dutch. This guy looks incredible. He could be a center back, could be a CDM, whatever. He can play in any of those two positions for me. 1.5 million. This is after two months of scouting, by the way. Jan Peter Peters. <laughs> Amazing name. 900k for this lad. And then Joris Janssen for 750k. So three talents were found in two months time. Let's see what positions. Oh, all of them are CDMs. Now, one of these guys, ideally, I want to turn into a center back. And that could be Deleuve. And I can put those two straight into CDM because he has the highest defensive stat there with 61. While the other lads don't. So, okay. We do have three people that go straight to the team. Suriname, 
Great work. It's now time to go to the exotic islands right below Ivory Coast somewhere there. There is a place called Sao Tome e Principe. That is the place I'm going to be sending my scout to looking for anything. Buddy, bring me someone worth over 2 million because that at this point is the rating these players need to have or the value these players need to have in order to actually be considered for the starting 11. But anyone that's decent can be dropped onto the bench as well. You know, sometimes I see players like this and I just think, can add a few inches once he becomes 18. Why don't you have high potential, bro? That haircut, that beard, it would have looked fired on the pitch. But no, it's not gonna happen. Anyone in here? Decent? Anyone? No one? Okay, well, I guess this is not making it making it into the video i wanted to say edgar gomez hold on what is your value 3.4 million that is massive that is the most expensive player we have found so far sign him immediately anyone else I'm just going to quickly go through these. You'll see me when I go back to the guy. Going to the islands paid off as we get a 70 rated center attack in mid. Oh, hold on a second. Can you play down the wings, pal? That'd be very much appreciated. I think it was left wing or right wing. What was the side that would have been perfect for us? I think it was right wing, actually. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to check it out in a second. I found another one, Marcelino Viana, who can be a great backup player for the camp position if necessary. Because Said is already so good in his spot. We also have found Alindo Duarte, who is seemingly having some great stats there. We can bring him into the squad as a backup player. But let's see how these lads will be looking, or at least one of these guys will be looking in the team. So... David is up to a 66, Hussein is up to a 64. So right wing is the position that we should be going for here for Gomez. Gomez coming into the right wing spot. He could potentially go up. No, he won't. That's fine. He'll stay a 70. Said, he can play down the wings as well, but it's not necessary. He can remain in his spot as Gomez comes in as a right wing into the squad. Into the squad. Left footed, one star weak foot. And he is five foot six. Yeah. Saltome. I'm loving it. Up next, going into the north of Europe. But this time, we're going to be going to Greenland, not Iceland. Greenland deserves some love. It is a place where basically nearly no one lives, from what I can tell, because it's so freaking cold. But it is a spot that we want to go to to find some incredible players who might just somehow make it into this team, especially on the bench. Well, three players have come in from Greenland. Holst is a goalkeeper, Mikkelsen and Kruse. These are the only ones, though. We didn't find anyone insane. None of these guys make it into the starting 11, but at least they can fill up the bench and reserves a little bit more and bring in some competition for playtime. I think we're pretty much done scouting because this team is going to develop past the ratings that the scouting system gives away. So no one is going to be able to make it into the starting 11 anymore. League 2 season is done and look at that. Left out FC in the fifth position fighting for playoffs. And in those playoffs, we beat everyone. Yes, first position, promotion playoff finals. Grimsby gets kicked out and we are going up into league one lads now the journey properly starts as we take a look into this team of Usu with a 71 Said 77 Gomez on the right with a 74 David you gotta catch up to the other lads there Janssen and Peters and CDM obviously the lowest rated players in the team at the moment and it will probably remain that way for a while but I'm happy that they are here and I'm thankful for it Grant a right back 69 rated right now from Guyana they live as a center back after uh, being changed from CDM to center back. He's gone up to a 68. Walker is looking solid. David is looking solid there. And our goalkeeper with a plus seven this season, which is, which is ridiculous. But then again, the bench looking solid as well. And I love that. So having seen all of that madness, stats wise, over soon, his time has begun. 24 and two. I really wonder if he's going to be the guy to shoot us towards all those trophies. Ovusu, thank you for what you've, what you've done this season. Let's start in League One. The season is done, and sadly, we are not getting promoted back to back. We missed out on playoffs by seven points, but honestly, lads, I'm okay with it because I truly feel like we're not there yet. We really aren't, especially with the CDMs and the defense. The boys are just far behind our attackers in terms of their abilities, so it's totally fine for me to wait it out, but 
Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Ovusu leading the line, plus six this season, 28 goals, three assists. Trust me, Gomez has been incredible, 19 and 14 right there for us this season. But I'm going to tell you, next season, those stats are going to look even better because we, we will have this team still in League One and they're going to crush it. I believe in it. So 69 is the lowest rating now. Let's see what it is next season. League One season is done. Left out FC at the top. 94 points. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the squad that has done it. And the lowest rating now is a 76. David, you got to step up your game, man. These guys are running away with the ratings. Saeed with the 85 of Usu 83. Gomez 83 as well. And our goalkeeper now at an 80. This team can easily compete and even win the championship, in my opinion, which is the division that we're going into next season. And Ovusu, 37 and 4. My guy is ridiculously strong right now. And Said with his best season so far. The man from Brunei coming in with 29 and 15. Hussein off the bench, my guy. The performances just never stop and respect you for that. But our CDM got 11 goals and 2 assists, plus 7. Peters, let's go, buddy. He's on fire. All right, championship. I don't think you're ready for this. Domination is what we're going after. And that's what we have gotten here in the championship. Lads, we dominated the hell out of it. 109 points. Only three losses after 46 games. That is insane. And this team is insane too. Ovusu, 89. Said 88. Gomez, 87. I mean, this is a team that should be finishing in like the top eight in the Premier League. And we're down here in the championship. So 82 is the lowest rating we have at the moment. A couple of players trying to catch up with the rest of the squad. But you know what? It's okay. We have massive players leading the line. And Ovusu, I expected a little bit more this season. I mean, he's growing insanely quickly. Plus six this season. Said with only a plus three, but still an 88. David, let's go, buddy. Ochen David coming in with a 25 and 16, probably his best season so far. And he got a plus five after all. So he's still 82 rated, one of the lower rated ones, but a plus five is huge. And then you have Gomez coming up with the 16 and seven. That's it's time to take our talents into the Premier League and compete with the best out there guess what that is a team that we're up against and it's time for the fa cup final yes our team has made it straight in there which is amazing enough but off we go left out fc against spurs in the final and our team is redonkulous so they better get this one done right you better win this on penalties oh no they live and gomez let us down Spurs have not bottled it for once. They have actually picked up a freaking trophy thanks to us. Well, that was not the rebuild I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to get Spurs any trophies, but hey, it happened. Congratulations, Ange. By the way, with him at Spurs, they've become a, a much more fun team to watch again. I feel like they've had a couple of coaches that focus too much on defense. But let's take a look into things here in the league. Six. I'll take that. That puts us into European football. 66 points and 77 was enough to win the Prem. Looking at the stats of the lads though, of Usu, Said, Gomez, David. Yes, the front four is on fire. Peters keeps getting involved in goals, by the way, which is very impressive. But looking at the team itself, now we should have play star pluses. Chip shot, nothing on David. Okay, Gomez has nothing. Said has flare plus. Peters has slight tackle plus. The same on Janssen. Okay, I definitely have to use the slide tackle with these guys. Same with David. Aerial plus. First touch. Interesting. Grant with the anticipate. And then Gupta doesn't have anything yet for uh, a playstyle plus. But again, I'm very satisfied with how things have worked out for us right here in the Prem. I mean, going straight from promotion into sixth is impressive. Now the question is, can we perform on the European stage? Look at that league table. Second in the league. Guys, that is a much better finish. Once again, climbing the league table and Champions League participation has been secured. Now, let's take a look at the team that has done it. I mean, yeah, I, th this team should win it. <laughs> this team should just freaking win the Champions League. Let's be honest. 
The stats on these guys are insane. I cannot wait to actually use them. This is the one part that I love about the Youth Academy rebuilds the most actually using these players because with regular rebuilds you'd have somewhat of an idea how certain players actually could behave on the pitch because you already know the talents at least in my case i know most of the players i buy but with these it's like you've no clue <laughs> you've got no clue how these guys actually behave on the pitch so that's gonna be fun but they have to step onto the pitch one more time this time it's arsenal the other side or the other team from north london i should say last time spurs beat us can arsenal do it or is it gonna be left out fc yes gomez and saeed have done it congratulations to the boys a great performance and a trophy secured having said that how have things gone for us in europe because we were part of it for long enough conference league got kicked out by ajax in the first knockout stages not a good sign for champions league football next season and Said has outperformed Ovusu. That is big. Things have gone a bit mad over here, and I'll show you in just a second. But we are crushing Inter. This is the semi final, another Italian side that cannot stop us. Left Out FC is on fire right now. This team has made it to the Champions League final. Now, the results in the league wasn't, weren't as impressive. I don't know if we have won the league. I would be... I think we did. We haven't. We did it. We did it. United won the league, man. That's upsetting. Okay. It's fine, though, because we have the best players out there. Ovusu on a 98. He's just chilling. This guy is going to be incredible to use in gameplay. He is now only 23 years old. Imagine. Imagine being like... On the level of being rated 98 in FIFA and you're only 23, you still have everything ahead of you. That's madness. That's how Mbappe must feel. But then again, he's 25 and he only now makes his way to Real Madrid. By the time he arrives, he might be 26. I have no idea. It's a shame that he has been stuck in Liga for so long. Gomez, 94. David, 93. Said, pretty solid. Our midfielders, who were always like the lowest rated players, have caught up with the rest of the side. This team is just ready, and I am ready too. I cannot wait to use it in gameplay to go for the biggest trophy of them all against potentially Mbappe after talking so much about him. Let's quickly check it out right here. Yes, Mbappe, Skelderup, Patavu, Raskin, Javi Guerra, Gravenberg, or Gravenberg, I should say, Alfonso Davies, Hausen, De Ligt, Jimenez, Donnarumma. That is a solid side, you know, that Hausen guy or Husen, however you say his name, is a big talent, a very big talent. I'm excited about that guy's future. But let's go ahead and take a look into the stats before we dive into that matchup. Said, mate, he's on fire. 37 and 14, Ovusu 36 and 4, David 18 and 16, Gomez also coming up with 23 goal contributions. And our right back is having a bit of a Trent season there. We love to see it, just more goals than assists, I guess. But that's we have brought all these players from countries that are not searchable not scoutable and now they're about to take the stage the biggest stage in the champions league and my wife calls me i'm actually so pumped to finally try out these players man it's been years of building these guys up and we're stepping up against obviously mbappe and his boys so our defense has to be strong that's not good stuff for me. Oh, no. Mbappe's through. And they nearly scored. Okay. First chance belongs to PSG. We'll want to try and test Gupta again. Oh, no. Yes. Solid tackle. What? Nah, man. Bro, what is it with me and giving away penalties in the Champions League final? That is not a pen. Gupta against Mbappe. Come on. Come on, AJ. You can do this. Oh, wow. No chance. <laughs> Absolutely no chance. That's some good play here down the wings. Nicolas Raskin inside Mbappe. Oh, my God. What am I doing? I should have never let him cut inside like that. It's too easy. PSG is destroying us right now with Mbappe. One man taking down the best youth academy in the world. What is going on here, lads? Left out FC might be left out from winning the Champions League here. <laughs> Good one. All right. Cross going to be whipped in by Said. 
Looking for Vusu right there. He's got it. He's got it. Let's go. 2-1 it is. The best striker in world football is not Mbappe. It's that man and I'll prove it. 2-1. One. one more to go. Come on. Win that for me. Oh, beautiful. High up in the air. Saeed. Nice turn. Goes at people now. There it is. David. To equalize. Yes, he does. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? David. Let's go, buddy. Beautifully played. The comeback is on. Left out FC. About to leave PSG behind. Just one more goal. Just one more, lads. You can do it. Look at that strike. It's perfection. Oh, what's it going? Sees Gomez. Gomez. I could pass it here. Right inside to Ovusu. He's through. He sees David on the far side. Who heads it? Nowhere near the freaking target, which is painful to watch. Come on. No. Don't lose the ball. Yes. Oh, there's an opening for David. Once more. You're kidding. How does he make that save? Donnarumma. Oh my God. I can't believe I just witnessed that. Ovusu. Once more. Come on, Ovusu. No. It's okay, though. You have control over it. We're going to shoot again and shoot straight into their face. Extra time it is. Yes. No, no. Don't give it straight back into them. Don't let them cut down the wing, man. This is this is my biggest fear. <sighs> okay, it's fine. In extra time, Saeed, you got to be doing better. How do I not get a free kick there, by the way? And he's going to get a free kick for that. What a freaking joke this referee is. Please, 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 please. Don't let this be a dangerous one. No, my player fell down. I can't believe it. Kravenberg scores a bicycle kick in the 113th minute. You cannot make that up. There's only seven minutes left, lads. Can we pull this back to push into penalties? Is there any chance in the world for us to pull this off? Gomez running through down the wing, looking for Vusu, finds him. And his header is found by the goalkeeper too easily. Bro, I need the freaking ball. Give me it right now. 119th minute. It's done, isn't it? I can't believe it. I let down the boys from the rest of the world. Nah, man. Losing that, losing like that is a madness to me. Guys, this team was incredible. It really was. But at the end of the day, a bicycle kick in 113th minute ripped my heart out. That's it. That is it. We lost. PSG win it in the end. I feel bad for the academy. But man, was it fun. Building these players up. They are world class. I am now fired as a coach. Maybe the next one can go ahead and win the Champions League with them. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed it a ton and I hope you did too. A little bit of a heartbreak at the end, but it is what it is. We're going to move on, on to the next one. Take care, guys, and peace.